Well, hello, YouTubers. Hey, this is Pam, and I'm just checking in with everyone. Um, I am going to do another video today about containers, and I want to wish everybody, Andrea, I want to wish you good luck. I hope everything's going well. And Jasmine, and everybody else that's putting messages online. Um, I hope everything is going positive. Now, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. This is what it looks like when a hornworm is ready to, to bury itself. You see this guy right here? Okay. It's got the line down the back. Okay. You can kind of see it. I think you can see it from the... It's hard to tell with the camera, but um, he's got the line down the back. He or she... And he's searching. You notice how he just bypassed um, some food. Uh, he just went right past it. He is looking for something. Well, he's looking for a place to bury himself. Now, here's what I do. And you can do whatever you want to do. You can leave them in paper towels and just let them be by themselves and burrow underneath. Or you can... Put them in substrate, which is my preference. Um, know the isopods will not eat your hornworm. Um, I always wondered, do they know that it's not dead or would my isopods start working on it? No, they don't. They do not. Um, so here's what I do. I'm going to walk him over real quick. And see, he's got the... Well, you, I don't know if you can tell. He's got the line to... There's a line right there. You see it going down? That is the beginning of his Manduka moth life. And that is going to develop into his body. So here's what I do. It just works for me. Now this is Pickles, my um, South African Bullfrog's container. Container. I don't you know. Unit. I'm just going to start saying it's her home because it is her home. Anyway, this happens to be the perfect 80 degrees. They prefer 81, but this is perfect because she is sleeping all the time. There she is. Good morning, Pickles. And um, she's got her, her water ledge. She's, she's got everything she needs. It's, it's a pretty good sized uh, unit for her. And yeah, this is also the perfect thing. I take them and I put them underneath this moss, just lift it up a little bit, and I set it in there, okay? I just set him in there. He knows what to do. He's gonna bury himself, and there's a, there's a few others in there, but that's kind of what I do. I, um, I multi-use my units. If one has a nice, warm, but not overly warm environment, then that's where I put many of my hornworms that are going into chrysalis mode. You can do whatever you want, okay? You can put them anywhere you want. Um, you don't have to overly check them. I find that people just get so curious. They wanna pick them up and look at them. I just don't do that. And, and you'll get into a rhythm where you won't do it either. But basically, what you wanna do is kinda of leave them be. You can check on them, but there's no reason it's Perfect timing on their part. They will come out when they're ready. Um, sometimes I forget that I've had a few in the substrate and then I find them hanging on to the, the, um, the hut that she lives in or something else, drying their wings. And I'm like, oh, look who's here. So it's like Christmas, you know? <laughs> anyway, this is what they do when they are, you know, ready to, to go into chrysalis mode. They just start walking around and walking around. What I'm doing today is I have a lot of different ones in stages. And um, no, I did not breed these particular ones. I, I'm always honest about that. The ones that it's really kind of, I'm going into fall right now. So um, I breed whatever comes out of these guys. So if any of them make it to the Manduka stage, which they will, then I guess I, I breed them. My unit is ready for them when they need to fly around, and that's what I do. But initially, these were purchased um, just online 
I'm not even sure who I used this time, but I just, there was a sale and I just grabbed like some um, little hornworms and they arrived just like you, you would get them. So, but now I've got several different stages going and I'm sure that I will be breeding. Basically, I have this, this little, this little sterilite and um, these are the small ones, okay, that are going through different stages. And that's all fresh paper towel. And I, um, I use paper towels a lot when um, I have a lot of them. I just find that I can clean it out really fast and I want to keep everything sterile. One of the things that I do do is I save things like this for the, for the little ones, the eggs. This, believe it or not, is a perfect example of using things that you can use um, to put the, the eggs in. I'll give you an example. This is a cover to um, a heat bulb, which is very small. And I stopped using it uh, because it was drying out my, um, my, one of my snake enclosures. So I decided that I would hang on to it because it's nicely made. And believe it or not, it's perfect for having in the hornworm box because the little ones can climb in there and feel safe. And that's kind of how you want to approach everything. Um, this is the same thing. I bought these, I can't remember where I bought them years ago. It's just a plastic little hut and I cut a hole in it. It's perfect. Again, they climb on it and they like to suspend themselves on things. So get creative, look around your house. Believe it or not, you have all kinds of things in your house that you can use. Um, it's just a matter of figuring it out. So I might start just doing videos on things you can use around the house to um, let the eggs uh, grow fast because they like to climb. So anyway, this is just a quick video. I didn't want to run on about everything right now, but I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to show you different containers, containers that you can use to... Um, to take the eggs, lay the eggs in, and depending on your setup, um, you can use all kinds of things to lay the eggs on, and then you just have to worry about humidity and temperature, okay? Um, there's my nectar supplies right on my counter. <laughs> okay, well, have a blessed day. Remember, God is awesome, and I will make another video I want to give a shout out to everybody who follows my channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I appreciate every single subscribe and every single thumbs up. Um, I just do. It, it tells me I should keep going and just keep trying to help people learn and save time learning. So anyway, have a blessed day. I will talk to you guys again. Leave your comments. Ask your questions. There's no question stupid. Believe me, there isn't. All right, so have a great day. And remember, God is awesome. Talk to you soon.